Hi, my name is Stephanie Drismala, and I'm the Staff and Volunteer Engagement Coordinator for the Buffalo Society of Natural Sciences. I am also the co-chair of the Diversity and Equity Work Group here. And if you didn't know, the Buffalo Museum of Science is located right in Martin Luther King Park on the east side. And today we celebrate the life and achievement of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King, an American civil rights leader, is well known for his boycotts, protests, and marches for civil rights. He stood up and let his voice be heard about injustice and treatment of African Americans. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed. It says that discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin is against the law. Today and every day, we can honor Dr. King by standing up for what is right, letting our voice be heard, and doing our part to make our world and community a better place. We will be reading two books today. One is called The Sweet Smell of Roses by Angela Johnson, and the other is called Be a King by Carol Boston Weatherford. In both books, young people just like you take a stand and let their voices be heard in honor of Dr. King. We hope you enjoy them. So now we'll read A Sweet Smell of Roses by Angela Johnson. After a night of soft rain, there's a sweet smell of roses. As my sister Minnie and I slip past Mama's door and out of the house down Charlotte Street. Past the early morning milkman, over the cobbled bridge and through the curb market. To where everybody waits to march. Minnie and I, only waist high to most of them, Waist high, Minnie and me, waist high, holding hands and waiting to march. There is a sweet smell of roses as everyone waits for Dr. King to speak. And the colors, bright light from the sun on the flowers, beside the road, as we listen to Dr. King on the megaphone say, we are right, we march for equality and freedom. Then we start to march, Minnie and me. We look ahead and walk faster like him, clapping in time with our feet, looking ahead just like him. There is a sweet smell of roses, even as we march past the people who scream and shout, you are not right, equality can't be yours. Then we look farther down the road and keep holding hands, feeling a part of it all, walking our way towards freedom. There is a sweet smell of roses as more people start marching with us, pouring out of the side streets, clapping and singing, freedom, freedom. And then someone picks me up and puts me on their shoulders. Somebody picks Minnie up too, and we are high above everybody, still marching. There is a sweet smell of roses as we all gather in the center of town, all together, all here, listening to Dr. King as the sun gets higher in the sky. He talks about peace, love, nonviolence, and change for everybody, and the sun gets higher in the sky. When it's time to go, we skip back, hand in hand, Minnie and me, singing freedom songs along the streets. Through the curb market, over the cobbled bridge, and past the mailman. To our house on Charlotte Street. Then there is Mama, worried faced, waiting for us. She smiles after a while, hugging us, then takes our hands. And as we tell her about the march, the curtains float apart. And there is a sweet smell of roses all through our house. The end. Tell us if you like that book in our comments and you can definitely find this in another book that we're gonna read in your local library or local bookstore. And now we're going to read Be a King by Carol Boston Weatherford. You can be a king, marvel at creation, keep the faith of your ancestors. 
You can be a king. Know that bigotry hurts. Remember how you felt when treated unfairly. You can be a king. Admit that you've done wrong. Just say I'm sorry and mean it. You can be a king. Know that dividing walls should come down. You have glimpsed the other side. You can be a king. Break the chains of ignorance. Learn as much as you can. You can be a king. Stand for peace. Band together against bullies. You can be a king. Sing a song of freedom. Keep your eyes on the prize and hold on. You can be a king. Stamp out hatred. P put your foot down and walk tall. You can be a king. Answer your critics, believe in your cause and state it plainly. You can be a king, have a dream, make yours great enough to grow into. You can be a king, make the world take notice, do your very best at whatever you do. You can be a king, Beat the drum for justice. March to your own conscience. You can be a king. Lift up the less fortunate. Be the king or queen of help. You can be a king. Set your sights on the mountaintop. Climb a little higher every day. The end. Thank you for joining us for our story time and celebrating the life and memory of Martin Luther King Jr. Um, to close out our day, I'm going to read a quote from Martin Luther King and I hope it inspires you to continue serving in your community. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato or Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics and physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. Martin Luther King Jr. And be sure to stick around and stay tuned for our next video coming up in an hour for our Community Health Day sponsored by Independent Health.